the NBA 2K23 My Career storyline is one of the worst storylines that 2K has put in their video games in a couple years now. It could honestly be one of the worst or the worst storyline ever. Now there's plenty of things you can do in my career this year, don't get me wrong. They did add a lot of fun things for you to do. But as far as this storyline, I wanna know who is working at 2K and is creating these storylines because this has to be one of the dumbest, most non-making sense storylines that I've ever seen. I've been playing 2K since my career storylines have been a thing. Basically, I'll give a quick summary of the storyline. Your player is drafted by the team of your choice. One pick before this guy named Shep Owens. Now, Shep Owens is a player who is labeled as a very athletic player, but he's also known to not be very skilled. And that's kind of his downfall. So pretty much your fan base is mad at the team, at the GM, for drafting you one pick before Shep Owens. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Okay, so they drafted me number one overall and Shep Owens number two. Was Shep Owens the obvious, you know, number one overall pick in this draft? That's where it gets to our first point of this story where it's dumb. These are the 18th and the 19th picks in the draft. With the 18th pick in the NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select MP. That makes no sense to me because of how they are making these two players feud with each other. It doesn't make sense. They're 18th and 19th overall picks. The story, it would make a lot more sense if it was the first and second picks, but it is not. It's the 18th and 19th picks. It does not make any sense, and I wish that it did, but it does not. So, your GM wanted to draft Shep Owens over you. How y'all pass on Shep Owens, fam? Is you stupid? <laughs> But someone in the organization, I don't quite remember who, kind of overruled them and drafted you instead because they're a numbers person and they see what your player actually brings to the court. Now, your player is labeled as more skillful but non-athletic as to where Shep Owens is more athletic but non-skillful. It doesn't make sense because even if you make the most athletic build with 99 vertical and 99 driving dunk, you're still going to be labeled as a non-athletic player, which doesn't make sense, but that's 2K for you. The second thing that doesn't make sense is you could be performing super well in your My Career games. You could drop 100 points, and Kendrick Perkins is going to get on his talk show, and he's going to talk all this trash about you, saying that you're terrible, that Shep Owens is better. All right, Kendrick. JJ was drafting MP over Shep Owens, the right move, or were fans right to boo MP on draft night? What? Of course they were right. If I'm from the city, I'm booing MP, I'm booing ownership, and I'm booing myself for sticking with this huh. terrible franchise. Booing himself. Yeah, I might boo you too, Stan. Okay. Look, city fans know ball, and they know that Shep Owens, Shep Owens, mm -hmm. this guy's the truth. I know you've had a lot of coffee this morning, Perk, but you've got no right to disparage MP like that. This kid's a collegiate champion, a tireless worker, and everyone raves about his leadership skills. Yes, Shep's a better athlete, but he hasn't won anything. That matters. You know what really matters, JJ? Is your boy MP is ancient. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Did you say an ancient or anxious? Ancient. Ancient. Like ancient. dead bird, tall grass, ancient. Okay? okay. We know exactly what he's going to be. A rotation player at best. Shep Owens has all NBA upside. This is a huge mistake, JJ. A rotation player? A rotation player. You don't know what you're talking about, Perk. And if it was such a huge mistake, why did 18 teams pass on Shep? You know what, JJ? That's a great question. That's a good question. And I don't have the, I don't have an idea. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll... In my Summer League Championship game, you obviously go up against Shep Owens. I blew them out by 55 points. I dropped 30 points on Shep Owens. Nine assists. Shep Owens had like seven points. And I'm still being labeled as one of the worst players that could have been taken in the draft. And Shep Owens 
obviously should have been picked way before me which just it just doesn't make sense 2k needs to kind of have an adaptive storyline which they kind of do the choices that you make kind of define the outcomes but it still doesn't make sense especially since i play for the rockets and jabari smith jr is on the team he's literally drafted third or fourth overall but they're over here the media is focused on the 18th overall pick in the draft it just doesn't make sense which i know it's a storyline and it has to be you know put into the game that way why not make it the first and second overall picks that's that's what just doesn't make sense the third thing in this storyline that is kind of stupid is once you get progressed in the story a little bit your gm's talking about wanting to trade you for shep owens even though you're dropping 50 points a game and your teams you know they could be going on a 20 game winning streak your gm he still wants to trade you for shep owens no matter how good shep's playing no matter how good his team's record is they're gonna want to trade you for shep owens not only that, they're going to give you up in three first round picks to get Shep Owens, which is a late middle first round pick. It, it, it just doesn't make sense. The GM literally need, would, would be fired if this was a real thing. It's, it just, it's so crazy. Okay, um, you guys want to fill me in? Why do I feel like I was blindsided out there? Because you were. Look, but that's okay, all right? It's the last trick that those got up his sleeve. Yo, fam, he's really gonna offer three first round draft picks on top of me. For Shep? I mean, is Phil even gonna sign off on that? It's unclear. There's more support for the trade on social than I would like to see. What does that mean? I'd say it's about a 50-50 split at this point. Good thing social isn't in charge of the roster. Can we just sit here and talk about how ugly she is for a second? Like, like damn, 2K, come on now. Another thing is, how good Shep Owens is. He's a mid first round pick, a little bit later, 19th overall. This man has so many badges. He has great attributes. And he went to the Brooklyn Nets on my, my career. And he's starting over Kyrie Irving. It just, a mid first rounder coming out of the gates as a rookie. You're going to start him over Kyrie Irving. It just, it, that just doesn't make sense. It don't. So in my career, straight out of the gate, Shep Owens, 23 points per game, four rebounds, nine assists. He's shooting 43% from the three. He's an 86 overall. It just doesn't make sense for somebody that was drafted that late in the first round to be that good of a player that quickly. If you take a look at 2021's draft and Trey Mann was the 18th pick, so he was picked the same time Shep Owens and me were. He's averaging 10 points per game, but he's only a 75 overall. So the way 2K has progressed Shep Owens, which I understand because you are my player, can get to a 99 overall in its first season. So, I mean, if we're really talking about it, anything can make sense in 2k but we're here talking about how dumb the storyline is and just how much it doesn't make sense so like i said shep owens should not be that high of an overall but he's going to be he's going to you know he's gonna be up there there was plenty of other things i could talk about in this story that just don't make very much sense from the gm throwing fits and being a crybaby which maybe nba gms do act like that i guess that's kind of true Shep Owens has this crazy reality TV show, which I guess some NBA players might have their like YouTube series that they do in the off season. But Shep Owens has cameras following him around like he's in a reality show. And there's a lot more guys. We can I mean we can get into every little detail, but we're not gonna make this video too long. With that being said, guys, there's a lot of good things in NBA 2K23 my career. They made the city smaller in NBA 2K23 Next Gen, so that's one of the good things I like. The subway system is awesome. You can get to places a lot quicker now. And the side quests that they have in the game are a lot of fun. I'm, and they pay you decent VC for completing them. One of my favorite things is J. Cole. He's my favorite rapper. He's literally the GOAT. And the, the fact that he's in the game is just crazy. So this game just has a lot of extra stuff you can do to earn VC you know at the number one point but i mean just i'm not even i don't even know how far i am into the story i'm not even that far in i think i've completed part of the i mean i think i've completed basically the main story but 
all the extra side stuff that there is to do like i think it's a lot of fun doing the hammond park and the stuff against shep that's gonna be fun but just the way that the story was created it didn't make sense and i don't know let me know in the comments guys something that i might have missed in this video that you think is kind of a dumb thing in the story because like i said there's many more things i could talk about but i just wanted to hit the main part if you guys are new leave a like subscribe to the channel as always and i'll see you guys in the next one